We are in a uh, private bush just outside of Prospect Hill in between St. Mary's and London. We're just marking some trees. This plantation's never been thinned out, so we're just marking a few trees to kind of open everything up and uh, get some undergrowth going. In about two weeks, uh, the logger's coming. Uh, I've been waiting for him, and Jay has been uh, marking the forest for us from Upper Thames. Um, we can see there's a row over here that we, we're going to clear out. We're in a white pine plantation that's approximately 20 to 30 years old. White pine is our provincial tree. Uh, it's planted quite uh, quite a bit in Ontario. Uh, this is at the point where it needs to be thinned out, uh, and ideally it gets thinned out now, either a third, a fourth, or a fifth row thinning with some light side selection. I chose Upper Thames is because uh, they are a third party so it's not they're not going to benefit from the logs coming out here I want them for their professional opinion on bush health and their and a, and a smart they're just experience and basically bush health and experience is what I'm mainly I'm not looking for the money for it just health for the bush thinning is that we remove the row, it lets in a lot more sunlight and it releases the trees as we call it, which gives them a lot more room to grow. A licensed tree marker helps uh, build a relationship between a landowner and a logger. The licensed tree marker comes in as an uh, unbiased third party realizing that there's value in the woodlot uh, for a logger and for the private landowner. Uh, it has to be worthwhile economically for the logger to come in and at the same time you want to maintain that environmental and aesthetic value for the landowner. So as you can see, this is a more open area. This is where the black walnut has started to kill off some of the white pine. And what we see coming in here are invasive species. Why we thin slowly to prevent too much sunlight coming in and to prevent the uh, the, the spread of the invasive species in the, through the woodlot. We're about to watch. <laughs> What we have here is a uh, black cherry that's uh, starting to come in already even though it hasn't been thin. Uh, black cherry, like a lot of the tree species that we find in plantations, are shade tolerant. So they, they like the shade that the pine trees provide, but only to a point. Um, once they get to a certain age, they, they need that full sunlight and ideally that'll happen with the thinning. Um, so what we have here is our, our first, little, uh, first little volunteer of hardwood coming in and with the thinning hopefully he'll be one of our, uh, our future hardwoods in this, uh, in this forest. Thank you. 